scared. He's telling the honest truth. But that man's being honest. Hey, he ain't lying. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. What's up, what's up, what's up, Fragrance family? Hey, man, I thank y'all. All who all is viewing right now, your viewership is highly appreciated. Um, if you are one of my subscribers, y'all already know y'all one of the ones. Y'all keep this thing rolling, and I can't thank you enough. But if this is your first time, welcome. Something must have caught your attention, so hopefully I can keep it. This is No Cap Fragrance Reviews, where I give it to you 100%. 100% of the time, I give it to you straight. No chaser, no cap, just like some of my testers. And hey, y'all saw the thumbnail. Y'all know what time of year it is. Every fragrance reviewer or people who are into fragrances and influencers or whatever are giving you their top 10 spring whatevers right now. So this is mine. And this is really like the top 10 that I'm most excited about wearing this spring season. And that's kind of how I'm ranking them. Not better than this one or nothing. Just ones I'm kind of excited about wearing. And uh, so we're going to jump right into it. But first off, I have a fragrance I want to introduce to you all. So if you're familiar with Givenchy Gentleman Society, there is a clone now. And that clone is from the fragrance house of Aston. And this is Gentleman Solitude. And I must say, from what I can remember smelling Gentleman to Society in Macy's, this is a pretty doggone good rendition of it. So if you're not familiar with Gentleman Society, that fragrance, the accords are woody, aromatic, warm, spicy vanilla with some yellow florals, kind of herbal and green with notes of, in the top you have cardamom, sage, Middle notes of French Narcissus, Haitian vetiver, vetiver, Madagascar vetiver. And in the base, you have vanilla, palo santo, wood, and cedar. So, fresh, woody, aromatic fragrance. And what do I really get from it? To be honest, it kind of smells like a perfect blend of Paco Rabanne's Phantom with that vanilla, with the aromatics, as well as... Uh, Ralph's Cliff for men with that vetiver, lavender kind of spiciness. There's no lavender in here, but that is what I get. So I look forward to wearing this more. Um, I did pick this up on Best Brand, Best, I can't talk today, Best Brand Parfums, um, uh, you know, Ankh, Christian O. Hey, I give him shit, but he be on his shit as far as finding uh, new clones and stuff to look forward to. But yeah. We gonna, that's another video we'll get into later. All right, so that was an honorable mention. We're going to get into the list. Coming in at the number 10 spot is one that you can find in your local rack stores, one that no one's talking about that many may not know about. But this is a great house, actually. And this is Sapil's Intense for Men. Don't sleep on Sapil because they do a doggone good job. Now, some people may tell you that this is a lot like Paco Rabanne. I mean... Invictus Aqua, you get some of that in there because the fragrance that this actually is mimicking really came out around the same time as Invictus Aqua, but this is a clone of Azaro's Wanted, the original, with that citrus in the top, the grapefruit, the aromatics, the woodiness, it's just beautiful, man, and this thing does pretty well, I'm looking forward to really wearing it in the heat, see what it does, but I know I've gotten six, seven hours on my skin wearing it in the winter time like it's just man yeah i enjoy that so coming at the number 10 spot looking forward to wearing that if you're in your local rack store tj maxx or something you come across that do not hesitate 14.99 you can't beat it all right coming in at the number nine spot we have an intimidation <laughs> this is intimation by is it grandeur no this is milestone Milestone, also a rack store fragrance, but you can find it online. I've never seen it in a rack store. Of course, this is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Imagination with the black tea, with the ginger, with the calabrium, lemon, and all it. This is a beautiful, beautiful smelling fragrance. I look forward to this in the springtime. It may be more summer tones, but it didn't do. It don't do so great in like winter fragrance. It has a sweetness in it, but. I'm looking forward to trying this out. So, I mean, you can actually get this also on Amazon. 
uh, for the lower 20s, uh, around $30, I believe. Uh, but there are so many Imagination clones out here that I will be getting my hand on after I play with this one a little more. But this is one of the ones I'm looking forward to wearing. So, coming at the number 8 spot. Now, if you cut my short a while back, you could have picked this up for like $10, which is crazy for how good this fragrance is. This is from Swiss Arabian, the original Chargolf for men, or it may be called Chargolf Blue. Some of them you find some Arabic writing on the top. This is a beautiful scent. <clears throat> Perfect mix of citruses and lavender with some cardamom spiciness in the base, cardamom and cinnamon with pralines and a black amber note in the base. This, it actually puts me in the mind of Lamal, like that fruitiness, it, it's that apple smell in the top kind of puts you in the mind of Lamal Ultramal, not Lamal, Ultramal. It's this thing, and y'all already know how Swiss Arabian does, man. It projects and it lasts. This fragrance is like 9, 10 hours for a freshie. So I can't wait. Yeah, springtime is that time of year where it's kind of similar to fall. Sometimes you can get cool nights, warm days, kind of in between. Like, So you need something. That you, you can wear sweeter fragrances, you know, some florals, kind of like springtime, some blossoming. Yeah. So this is that time of year where you can play around. You know, anything. You want those fragrances that are like any time of year fragrances. Now, this is one that was new to my collection. Y'all may have seen me put it in leaning feminine and all that kind of stuff. But that is none other than Parish Corners Forbidden Sugar. This is a sweet one that you're going to wear on those spring days when the highest no more than 70 or something like that. And kind of lows in the 50s and stuff like that. Because of the sweetness but it has a lot of floral components like i said everything every sweet note that you can think of is in here it leans feminine but guys trust me with the way this is blending and everything you can get away with it if you wear stuff like baccarat and and now this doesn't smell like that to me but i'm just saying those type of fragrances that people could say lean feminine then you'll enjoy this because you know, it's man i just feel like it's going to perform like a beast you get those fruity accords in the top. There's like peach and citruses. And man, this it smells great to me in the air and everything. So that uh, Paris Corner uh, Forbidden Sugar, definitely on my list to wear this springtime. All right, coming in at the number six spot, I believe. Let's see. Yes, is none other than the one we spoke about so many times. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. It's Jack of Clubs, the Blue Electric Clone Beast. Well, it's not Beast Mode, but I'm just saying. It's beating all the rest of the YSL Blue Electric Clones. I look forward to wearing this just because this is the time of year that's best for this fragrance to me. I mean, you could fall a little bit in the winter. It's just not sweet enough to me in the winter time to really do it. Date night anytime, of course. But yes, this is perfect season to wear this. Looking forward to it. And one of the ones that I just, I am just taken back with how good it's gotten even after maceration and that I'm so glad. I think Chaos Fragrances is the one that came and put us on to this one. And it's supposed to be a clone of Settley, which it is very close because I did test it against Settley. But this one has a little bit more fresh spiciness than Settley. Settley. And that is none other than Mike here, Legacy by Latafa. Yeah, y'all know this bottle. This thing rocks, y'all. Like, some people say they don't get the longevity out of it, but I'm getting at least seven hours. And for a freshie, like, you can't beat that. That spiciness, the aromatics of this pushes it a little more. So after it's macerated, I know I get seven, probably eight hours with this fragrance. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it does in this springtime. All right. Coming in at the number three spot. That is none other than Latafa's Winner's Trophy. Y'all, I've gotten so many compliments on this in the wintertime when I wore it. So I just know in the springtime, this is just going to really do what it's supposed to do. Because this is like a nice blast of, you know, some citrus. This is a clone of, of well, it's closely inspired by... Um, I can't even talk. Valentino Womo's Born in Roma Intense. 
it does a great job. You get a lot of the mineralic notes in the top with some lemon freshness and it's woody, aromatic. This will choke you out. Five sprays of this and you're good. Wow. Not overly sweet. It's just, it's just good. It's just good. I'm looking forward to it. It just blew up the whole space right now. All right. And coming at the number two spot of what I'm looking forward to wearing. And it's crazy because this is a tobacco scent that is going to be great in the springtime. Probably even can wear it in the summer. Um, I need to pull up the notes for this for y'all. But this is a clone of none other than Zerjos, Zerjos Naxos. This is from Paris Corner. And y'all already know what it is. This one is... Vo Elegant. Great clone of Naxos by Zerjoff. I smelled it. And again, y'all y'all know I go to Neiman's all the time trying to smell stuff. So I did that. There's a slight difference in it, but it is great. It is right on par with what that is. Sweet vanillic honey tobacco lavender with citrus, which is why it's perfect for the springtime. You got those um citrus notes in the top aromatics like lavender bergamot and lemon in the top with middle notes of honey cinnamon cashmere jasmine sunbok base of tobacco leaf um vanilla and tonka bean yeah this is gonna rock this rocks already like fall i mean i guess winter cuts tobacco but to be honest i feel like this time of year is gonna be best for it the Tonka vanilla in the base definitely gives it a sweetness that you could rock in wintertime and everything. The tobacco, you can't go wrong. Their freshness up top, this thing just surprises you. You smell that freshness up top with the lemon and lavender and all that kind of stuff. And then it's like, whoa, that's that honey? Whoa, is that tobacco? Yo, this thing right here, if you haven't got your hands on this, I can tell you it's blind by worthy. It's blind by worthy. Um... Amazon. I'm gonna link all these below. I think I've seen this like in the low, in the high 20s, low 30s. Great for that price. Um, last but not least, is one that I've got here recently that I've worn, as you've seen in other videos. This is a clone a Bond Number no. Nine's Lafayette Street. It just won, pretty much won between um, the best clones of Lafayette Street with Wild Card from a game of spades. This is New York Avenue by Grandeur. This is your best rendition of Lafayette Street. The sweet coriander, lemon, fresh, spicy, vanillic. This is just, this rocks for date night. Anytime I know the heat's going to push it a little more. You're going to get compliments with this. Women love this fragrance, y'all. And I just got to go ahead and. Yeah. Yeah. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to an interview. You can wear it to church. You can wear this anywhere. It works. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much for watching this video. If you lasted this long, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all know. Until the next one, y'all know the vibes.